Polymer composites or fiber reinforced plastics as they are commonly known is a new class of advanced materials which are different in many aspects from the traditional materials such as metals, ceramics or plastics. They are made in such a way that they provide extremely high strength with sufficient stiffness and toughness with light weight. This combination of properties offer great advantage in mechanical design. By definition, a composite is a material in which one material which acts as matrix is mixed with one or more materials acting as fillers with the purpose of increasing strength and other mechanical properties but reducing the overall density of this new material. The matrix and the filler are chemically different and there is no chemical reaction between them but they form good bonding between them. This interfacial bonding may be enhanced by some chemical or physical treatment of the fibers. Though the concept of composite material is very old, going back to the antiquity, the modern plastics based composites were developed in 1930s. This class of material was originally developed by the company Owen Corning in the USA and this type of composites are known as fiberglass. They contain chopped or continuous strands of glass fiber with matrix of epoxy or other polymers. However, as of today, there are many types of fibers and matrix polymers used for advanced composites. The biggest impact of the use of advanced composites can be seen in the aircraft industry. Today, much of the efficiency and load bearing of aircraft can be credited to the use of carbon fiber epoxy composites. These are the lightest and strongest materials available. In the passenger aircrafts were used from 1970s. For example, in Boeing 747, the jumbo jets, the percentage of composites used was 1%. This increased to 11% by weight in Boeing 777 and or Boeing 787, the Dreamliner, about 50% of material is by weight is composite. Carbon fiber epoxy composites are used as structural materials for the fuselage, wings, tail, doors and much of the interior. Lightweight composites enhance an aircraft's efficiency in load carrying capacity and huge advantage in fuel saving. In fact, the very first large-scale use of carbon fiber epoxy composite was the Boeing Sikorsky helicopter in which 60% by weight was this composite. Started in 1991, this helicopter was designed as a stealth and attack helicopter for the US Army. However, because of the long delay, budget overrun and the end of the Cold War, the helicopter project was terminated in 2004. The Airbus A380 also uses fiber reinforced composites for many of its parts, though the fuselage is still of metallic type. A380 uses carbon fiber reinforced plastics for wing ribs, upper deck floor beams, and center wing box, landing gear doors, unpressurized fuselage, vertical and horizontal tail plane, tail cone, engine cowlings, flap track panel, and much of the interiors. Look inside of any airplane and you will find the interior is mostly plastics or composites. This reduces the weight of the plane and hence adds to the fuel efficiency. FRPs are already being used in many sports and high-end cars. Full body is made with carbon fiber epoxy composites. They save weight without compromising on strength and safety. Many years ago, I had come across an accident site where a sports car had collided with the guardrails on the roadside. The car had composite body and I could find many broken pieces as far as about 30 meters from the accident site. The failure of these composites is not of ductile type, but it has huge amount of toughness due to the different failure mechanism of composite materials than that of the ductile materials. The broken pieces appear to be made of hybrid carbon and glass fiber with epoxy as the matrix. These pieces break in a very characteristic brittle type of fracture. However, before they fracture, they absorb much of the energy and therefore they are very tough materials. Here also we can see that the material has broken without much of ductility. In this piece we can see the inside of the composite material. So it appears to be a mixture of carbon fiber and glass fiber with epoxy as the matrix. So the white 
part is glass fiber, the black part is carbon fiber and epoxy is used as the matrix. Energy sector is also utilizing composites in a big way. As we are making machines bigger, lightness without compromising on mechanical performance is an asset. Today, wind turbine blades are ever increasing in length. There are turbines with blades as long as 100 meters. The length of the largest airplane is about 84 meter and airplanes one wing length is about 54 meters. With such a huge size of the machine which needs to stay at a height of approximately 260 meters, it is absolutely necessary that these turbine blades are as light as possible but they also must be strong against wind power. They should be tough against impact loading such as strong wind and must withstand all kinds of weathers, cold, heat, rain, sea environment etc. Carbon fiber and glass fiber are used with epoxy polymer to make such huge mechanical items. The other energy sector that urgently needs FRPs is the hydrogen gas based energy production. One of the challenges in this field is the storage of H2 gas which is quite damaging for metals such as steel because of hydrogen embrittlement. Also, for any mobile energy solution such as for automotive application, it is necessary that the storage tank is very light and not a bulky steel cylinder. This is solved by having FRPs as the materials for hydrogen storage tank or cylinders. With extremely high strength and toughness, a cylinder made of FRPs is able to store the gas at very high pressure but with safety. Ports have in general benefited immensely from advanced materials such as FRPs. For example, a racing bicycle can be made very light by using carbon fiber epoxy composites instead of steel or aluminum frames. A lighter bicycle will be easier to ride in a race, rowing or any kind of water sport depends on materials that are strong, stiff and light. Often glass fiber or carbon fiber based plastic composites are used for making the boats, oars and any kind of floating boards etc. Today all tennis rackets are made of glass, carbon or aramid fiber based plastic composites. They are lighter with optimum strength and its stiffness. Let us look at materials for making pole vault. Pole vault uses materials such as bamboo, aluminium, steel, GFRP that means glass fiber reinforced plastics and carbon fiber reinforced plastics. Very early days bamboo was used as the material. It was followed by aluminium and then steel. And we can see how this sport has benefited with advanced materials. The height jumped and here we have the years when the Olympic was held. We can see that as the materials have been changed, the height jumped record has increased tremendously. And this is much to do with the new materials in addition to the new techniques of the sports. So we can say that sports performance is hugely benefiting from new advanced materials. Composites are considered advanced materials when we use the component materials such as carbon, glass or aramid fiber and matrices which are thermoset or thermoplastic polymers. But if you look around, you will find many old things that use these concepts. Construction industry uses steel reinforcement in concretes, which are composites. In Japan, I looked at some old wooden houses, such as this one. This damaged area, you can see what is inside. Bamboo sticks have been joined together with the help of straw ropes, which were then covered with clay. Here, the bamboo sticks act as the fiber and the clay as the matrix. Some straw has been used in the clay for strengthening purpose. Many ancient civilizations used straw in making mud bricks for the same purpose of lightness and strength. Before I summarize this video, let me show you two experiments which we conducted on glass fiber reinforced epoxy com composite. So this experiment is on the tensile experiment on this composite. So there is a ASTM standard for testing polymer composites. So you have to follow the ASTM standard for specimen size. This specimen has a width of 25 millimeter and thickness of 3 millimeter. 
cross-sectional area is 75 mm square. So now we will keep the crosshead speed of the instrument machine as low which is 0.5 mm per minute. So after the experiment you can see the failure has happened near the one of the edge. Now we will conduct another experiment on the same specimen. So this time we will keep the crosshead speed of 2 mm per minute and in this case the failure happened in the middle part. Now this is the normal specimen that we have used and this shows the failed specimen. So you can see the delamination taking place and fracture of the glass fibers. So this is how a glass fiber reinforced composite would fail. So you can clearly see the glass fiber uh, arrangement. So for the lower speed, lower crosshead speed of 0.5 mm per minute, the fracture strength was 273 megapascal and elastic modulus was about 17.8 gigapascal. For the high crosshead speed specimen, again you can say, see that the failure mechanism is same, which is delamination between the glass fiber and the matrix and fracture of the glass fibers. For high crosshead speed test also, we see the fracture strength of 273 megapascal and the elastic modulus of 17.8 gigapascal. This compares with the pure epoxy value of fracture strength 70 megapascal and the Young's modulus 2.5 gigapascal. Now I will show you another experiment in which we impact the glass fiber reinforced composite with a projectile. The projectile was a steel ball of diameter 12.5 millimeter and the projectile speed was 100 meter per second. So we can see that even after impacting this composite with such a high speed, we do not see any major failure of the composite. This shows that this composite is very tough. Polymer composites are able to absorb huge amount of energy before they fracture. Let me summarize what we learned in this video. Polymer composites or fiber reinforced composites are materials that consist of fibers incorporated inside a matrix. Fibers are generally glass fibers, carbon fibers or aramid fibers and the matrix can be thermoset such as epoxy, phenolic etc. or thermoplastics such as nylon. The most important properties that we achieve in a composite are lightweight, high strength, high Young's modulus, excellent toughness coupled with low coefficient of thermal expansion, thermal resistance, low water absorption, etc. Polymer composites are used in a host of high performance and specialized applications such as airplanes, energy harvesting and storage, automotives, sports, buildings, etc. Thanks for watching. If you have any question or comment, please write them down below in the comment section.